There is a lot that's already been revealed in regards to Modern Warfare 2 and the gameplay loop that we'll be seeing in the upcoming game across campaign, multiplayer, and co-op, all three spaces. We've covered just about everything up until this point on it, but one thing that we've yet to really discuss that was recently reported to be coming back from Modern Warfare 2 and seemingly will span across a few modes is something that I think is a great feature that was overlooked by many, even if just offering a little bit to that gameplay loop in Modern Warfare 2019. As we go along, drop your thoughts down below. What feature would you like to see return for Modern Warfare 2 or be added for the very first time to a Call of Duty game? I'd love to get your input as to an ideal feature within Modern Warfare 2, but if you enjoyed the video, you find it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare 2 ahead of the COD next event for the multiplayer reveal, the beta to follow, and launch in just under two months time now. Kind of weird to think that we're getting that close, but anyways, make sure you're here for all of it. And finally, if you want to join our community over on Twitch, we're live most days and nights now, so if you'd like to come chat and hang out, links in the description below. I'd love to talk with you guys a little further. But anyways, let's talk about Modern Warfare 2's returning gameplay feature that may be able to offer a little more than we may consider. So a few days back, well-known leaker and insider The Ghost of Hope tweeted out a report discussing one of the features that is yet to be detailed for Modern Warfare 2, but it's one you may be familiar with. He stated, Intel, which was last seen in Call of Duty Warzone in 2020, will return and DMZ with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. So to many, this will be a very cool addition to see return back into Modern Warfare 2, but on another hand, it might be trivial to some people. For those unaware of what Intel was, it was something that was a subdivision of the mission system within Modern Warfare 2019, where you had additional challenges that would progress the storyline and offer up XP rewards as a sort of bonus for learning more about the progressive story. And it was a way that Infinity Ward continued to roll out that narrative beyond just campaign, beyond just the spec ops integration, and beyond what we saw with the base of Warzone. Now, this was something that every couple of weeks, if my memory serves me correctly, was about every other week we saw Intel introduced from season four and beyond in Modern Warfare 2019. These introductions just simply and progressively continued that narrative, again, all while offering more XP for the base player for simply finding and interacting with items within the Warzone world. And in one exception, we also ended up getting an actual cutscene for one of these Intel sequences as well when you completed all of them. That being for the season one of Black Ops Cold War Intel missions, if my memory serves me correctly. That though, giving you the sort of ending of the Warzone story and the Modern Warfare 2019 narrative that we had building up until that point. Now, that's something we can kind of get into the fine details at a later point about if that then retcons the sort of entire Verdansk nuke event, which I think it does, by the way. But it was something that showcased the ending here, the culmination of the entire storyline, and then teased us Soap, who would eventually come into Modern Warfare 2019, but as we know, now plays a bigger portion in Modern Warfare 2 upcoming. Now, to me, this was a good addition in Modern Warfare 2019, and I'm happy to hear that it will be coming back in Modern Warfare 2 for myself as a story nerd out there, again, continuing that narrative, getting more storyline going along with it. I still would love to see things like in the future, maybe DLC for the campaign itself, but that's something that's less likely to happen, but also free rewards. That's always a bonus here. Mainly it was XP, but also if we're seeing Intel, that was a subdivision of missions like we just mentioned, which means that we're very likely going to see missions returning as well in Modern Warfare 2, which could lead to more XP tokens and things like that being rewarded, but also things like rarer and more exclusive calling cards, emblems, and blueprints overall, as we saw in Modern Warfare 2019. I personally would love to see more so camo rewards, but that's a different story for a different day. Now, the depth of the intel is something that I'm curious on because in Modern Warfare 2019, it was available only in Warzone. But again, with a specific mention of DMZ returning now for this, I'm curious to see if we'll see that in both DMZ and Warzone 2 going forward with Modern Warfare 2's main year of support. Warzone was kind of that oddity that we saw Intel only in there because the storyline for Spec Ops kind of fell by the wayside when Warzone came into play. And to a degree, that was something that I think kind of made sense. Warzone was never really meant to be that standalone free-to-play title. When being created, it was only intended to be in Modern Warfare 2019 only as that third game mode, similar to how Blackout was within Black Ops 4. Or I guess in Warzone's case, maybe it was the fourth game mode since Spec Ops was there as a co-op mode. But I'd wager that the storyline narrative was always meant to go into Warzone and that Spec Ops was kind of just the bridge for the gap before that proper air quote third or fourth mode launched from when Modern Warfare 2019's launch happened in October of 2019. So by that logic, it could be the same thing where maybe we do get it for DMZ only, but maybe we also do see it for Warzone as well. Now, while this looks to be continuing the narrative of DMZ as well, I'm curious to see what the intel and the missions overall for DMZ may contain, because while the narrative-based challenges in the form of intel are likely not yet known, I'm curious to know if, at least just for my own interest, the stuff that we covered here on the channel 
channel last month sometime that leaked from Warzone Mobile's game files, we actually learned a lot about different challenges and different missions that gave us some insight into DMZ and the gameplay loop that we'll see over there. So I'm wondering if these that leaked were actually some part of those missions actually like at top level rather than an in-game mission similar to like a contract that we'd see within Warzone. Curious to see if this will be something that these challenges reward in terms of XP, in terms of blueprints and things like that, that may be a little bit more rewarding rather than just in-game currency being rewarded one of you drop into DMZ. But again, this is one of those things that, as we mentioned, it's a bit more trivial perhaps to maybe you and some other players if you don't really care too much about it. But personally, I see this as a positive, or at least a net positive. Maybe you don't care too much about it, but in the way that I see it, it doesn't take away from anything in the developmental time for the game here itself. It doesn't take away from anything or any other features where this would be added in its place as a necessary item. It's instead just an additional way for players to interact with the game, grind it out a little bit more, follow along with the storyline that, again, may be entirely optional at that point, and I like the sound of that. And from an objective standpoint, that should be a good thing, right? That we're getting so many things that, even on a smaller scale, they have time to dedicate towards and work with these on, or at least that's kind of how I imagine it going. Like, I can't imagine that they're frantically working to stitch a game together last second here, and whoever's in charge is like, Bill, I swear to God, if you don't have those intel missions done, we need those to meet a quote at a ship. Please, for the love of God, tell me you have those done. I don't see that going down that way. I don't see it being that dire, and I feel like this being, again, something that's more so trivial, that it's a better sign that what needs to be done is already taken care of, already established, already in a playable state, and something that is just ready for us as players to experience. To me, when we get down to these more finite details, that's kind of something like, okay, we have extra time, what else can we add into the game? Or at least, that's the way that I see it. Now, my hope is that these and more come up and offer more ways to play for players. Missions, I would love to see them return. Intel, of course, was a subdivision in Modern Warfare 2019 of the mission system, and maybe that's the case here at this, or at least that's my hope with Modern Warfare 2, because I really enjoyed grinding those out in Modern Warfare 2019. I hope that we get worthwhile blueprints or camos or things along the lines for completing those challenges, and I actually kind of hope that they are more so worthwhile. Modern Warfare 2019, even though I grinded out a ton of them, a lot of the blueprints and stuff really weren't worth going for, in my opinion. I know that early on, cosmetics in a game aren't going to be like one of the main priorities. They're not going to be too out there or anything like that, but a lot of them were just really bland. I think the best ones for a long time were the PlayStation exclusive ones, which Again, fingers crossed that's not something that's really limiting on the player side of things, but that's kind of where we're at here at this. Very much so looking forward to seeing what the intel can end up bringing to the table with Modern Warfare 2. Very much so looking forward to seeing what else we have here on offer in terms of minute details. But that said, that's where we're going to call it, so I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of this here? Are you liking the sound of intel and potentially even missions overall returning in Modern Warfare 2? Are you looking forward to seeing where the storyline can continue to go from the campaign into the Spec Ops experience and DM? Z and then potentially into Warzone 2. Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, you found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing ring all things Modern Warfare 2. But for now, that's what we're going to call it. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.